Today we're going to do something really easy, minimal tools. All you're going to need is a piece of wood from Home Depot, probably four feet long. It can be a dowel, it can be a two by four, it can really be anything that, uh, that you got laying around. It could be a branch off of a tree. So we're going to do something real simple today. We are going to block up my sliding glass door here so that it cannot be opened when uh, when it's not locked. So let's uh, take a look at what we got and we'll get this project on the way. It's real simple. So right here is the edge of my sliding glass door. I have a swamp cooler so I need air circulation going through here. So I have my door opened here just a crack enough to get the air circulation going through. You can't fit your hand through there. I can't fit my hand through there. And I would imagine any would-be robber couldn't fit their hand through there. And even if they could, there's no way they could fit their hand through there and then knock that rod out. So what we're gonna do is I got this open about how much I want it to stay open. And then we're gonna take my measuring tape. We're going to Measure your distance from your stopping point to your door, okay? So it looks like we got there 331 and a quarter, we'll call it. All right, so I'm out here in the shop. I have this wooden dowel that I had laying around from uh, something else that I did. I don't even know what it is that I did. And uh, this thing is about three foot eight or 44 and a half inches. So more than long enough to do what I need to do. So I'm gonna cut this the right length, drop it in there, and we're done. Okay, so got my rod here. Drop that right in there. And then that's as far as it will open. And that way I can still have circulation for my swamp cooler. Just for a different time of year when I got want this door closed all the time and just put a little spacer there. Now this door can't open at all. So, and then uh, when I'm not using this, I can pick it up and just store it back there. And then that's it. That's it for this week. If you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next week. <laughs> Yay, baby.